Right, so I'm going to show you how to read database information or how to actually extract database information very, very easily with a simple program. And to extract database information, what we're going to do is use a SQL, SQLite browser. Right, so all we need to do is just come to the uh, link in the description below. And once you come here, just come to downloads. And what you need to do is just select your basically the one that is suitable for your operating system. In my case, I'm on a Windows virtual machine, so I'm going to use the DB browser for SQLite standard installer for 64-bit Windows. And obviously, once you install the DB browser or launch it, all you need to do is just have a .db file or a database file or whatever you have, right? And then in this case, what you most likely will not find on the internet is a sample database, which I've tried to use, but I cannot, right? So what I do suggest is just going to my GitHub and I will leave a sample database for you there. It's not a big, massive database. It's just a little small one. But what it allows you to do is to learn how to use the DB browser for the future. So let's launch the program and you need to use the, the database, right? So either you can use my own or you can create your own if you know how to do that. So I've launched my database and what you can see is the database structure, browse data, admit, pragra, ed, edit pragmas and execute SQL. Now, obviously what you're interested in is you might be interested in the tables, just so you know what you have, but I'm not really interested in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to browse data and once you come to browse data, all you need to do is just select the table. So in this case, my one, my table is just called user. Right, and as you can see, what we have is some data and we have some fields, right? So what we're going to do is I'll just explain it, right? So we have a table. Table is basically a group where everything's stored. So for example, you can have a, like a table called employees, uh, employer, buildings, and like, um, I don't know, other stuff, right? Whatever you can really think of. So a table is just like that, something that holds data. In this table, we have is we have these things called columns, right? So these are the head. Well, we can call them headers, columns, whatever you want. No one cares, right? So we have ID, uh, column ID, column username, and column password, and these are basically entries or fields. So the first entry or the field is ID one, admin, and the password, right? Obviously, this password is no actual password. What happens is this password is MD5 hashed. So obviously, if you have managed to um, crack this hash which is obviously absolutely possible because it's very very simple as you may think the password is admin yes you're correct right and what we have is obviously another entry and all the way up to eight right now if you wanted to use sql which is basically structured query language and it's used in databases what you need to do is just come to execute sql and what you need to do obviously if you know sql what you can do is you can use sql to do queries or edit data or whatever you can really think of, right? So let's just make a simple query that displays all data in our table. So we're going to do select star, which means everything in programming from table. Now the table for me is just going to be user. And if I press F5, as you can see, it basically displayed all data, right? Now, if I change the table to, for example, stored flags, right? And I basically, I also, by the way, I just wanted to tell if you put the first name of the, the first letter or you start typing the name of the table, for example, as for stored flags, right? As you can see, it basically can select and press tab and it'll do it for you. If you press the five again, what happened is it basically successfully has displayed all data. However, because there's no data in the actual stored flags, nothing has came back, but it has absolutely worked, right? So let me just change it again and show you that it works. As you can, it has successfully displayed data, right? So very, very simple and very, very useful.